guys, I am going to try to do a portrait and, well, a drawing of one of my favorite singers, and of course, it's Swifty. Love, love, love Taylor Swift. And uh, I hope you do too. And I have a photograph up on my, my computer over there, which has a uh, tight shot of her face, and I will put that up on this video. So we'll start with the page, and her way her face is, um, it takes up the entire page. Okay, so that's not really an oval, but let's get her more, get more sharp. So you're going to just do an oval for the face, and her eyes are actually because her hair is not in the picture about there. And then we're going to half this again for her nose. Let's see. Chin comes in like this. Oh, I forgot to go over the tools I brought. I want to uh, talk to you about <clears throat> traveling and trying to take the least amount. If you're flying on a plane, you could probably take everything that I have here. So I have numerous uh, pencils. These quite often I pick up at the dollar store and they come in a pack of two for five bucks. And it's a pencil HB 0, 0.7. And then of course my trusty little eraser. And it's got a fine tip on it. I also usually have these, and these are great because you can pick them up anywhere. Uh, the um, the gray eraser. I also have a white eraser, and handily those erasers on the back of these pens, pencil pens. And of course, keep one of these around because I also use a. Um, woodless pencil as well sometimes and this one is a pentallic woody it's called from germany i've had these forever i also keep uh, one of these water pens with me so i can fill it with water and um <clears throat> these thingies the smudgy thingies i forget what they're called okay you guys can holler it out at me anyway uh these are great for uh, shading you can just Start smudging it and you shade. It's great. Alright, so I have those. Uh, when I'm traveling, I always end up hitting Michael's and buying more paper. This is a watercolor paper that I picked up by uh, Canson XL. So you can always pick up paper on the road. It's not a big deal. And I actually got them for 40% off. And... Again. So when you're drawing a face, basically you draw an oval, and um, yeah, I'm not crazy about this. So you draw your oval, and first off you cut it in half. Now usually my oval would have gone all the way up here if I was doing her whole head but we're cutting it off just above the eyes. And so I wanted to fill up the entire page. And that there. It's her neck. And you know, you can always reconfigure the face after the fact. When you start getting your features on there, you can um, redefine everything. And I constantly do that. Okay. And so, let's see, and I saw someone the other day, they also draw, drew a line here to do the eyebrows. So you got your eyebrows here. All right. Now we're going to take it right down the center. Uh, you can see I'm a little off. Okay, we're going to go in a little here. All right. So here you've got your nose. Here you got your mouth. This would be, um, let's see, you want the top of the mouth about here. It's kind of short. 
and then you've got your eyes and your eyes are the distance between the nose and the eyes between the nose between the eyes to the nose area between them well you know what I'm trying to say anyways that has to be the same size as your actual eye so if you look in the mirror you will see that this space here is the same as this space here and I'm going to just I'm going to always widen this out all right and it doesn't matter all these pencil lines you get on here because you can erase them which is wonderful okay so I'm going to just do a round right there and another round that is her eye and if you look at it it is the same space I did okay there and and then this this space here between here and here is half the space of an eye so this is the fine tuning that happens later and just come around here and so that would be be about right there okay now your nose goes like that and the corners of your nose should be at the end of your eye oh, let's see another pencil that's not pencil okay would be here and here so that's where the nose this part goes and uh I fine-tune my noses constantly so if it looks totally ugly don't worry about it it just is what it is and let's see so the eyes we're gonna get in here You can see I'm using the woodless pencil, and I think it's just an HB. It's my go-to. <clears throat> okay, these eyes look a little lopsided, and she's got this here. Oh. All right, and then we got her pupils <clears throat> doesn't exactly look like Taylor Swift does it not at this stage in the game I don't know if I will be able to make it look like her but I'll try my best trust me Okay, and let's see. All right, we are going to make that a little bit. There we go. And Taylor just happens to have kind of low eyebrows.
you start using one of these things and smudging it a little bit, it starts to look like something as opposed to just on a stark background. And I put a bit of the gray in the whites of the eyes too. There we go. And you can always remove whatever you don't want. down here. Alright, we're going to leave that there. Oops. Okay. And here, we can just take the smudger and use what's on the end, end of it here to create some definition on the nose. See the shadows here, and there's the shadow here. So I'll we'll just... If it doesn't look like Taylor when I'm done, we'll just call her something different. Okay, and this iris needs to be a bit bigger. Right. And Okay, I'm going to remove this line. All right, now we're going to do the, uh, let's see, mouth. Now I saw an interesting thing. This and then this and then this. Okay. And then there was like one here and there was one here. Okay. I have an awful time getting mouths even. This is really difficult for me. I don't know why. Okay, she's got her mouth shut, so we're going to just go like this and join that up. And... Okay. So now, take an eraser and erase, erase our marks. Actually, her lower lip is actually bigger than her upper lip. Oh, dear. Okay. All right, I'm going to have to make it a 
little smaller. And the bottom lip. See, even with my little marks, I still manage to mess it up. What can I say? Yeah, let's cut this even a little bit. All right, this is where this trusty little guy comes in because you can erase a really thin line. See? Right there. And... And I can do some shading. Okay. And then you grab your little trusty smudger. smudge. Okay. And so you do your lines. I don't know if you can see this. Let's see if I can see it a little bit. Alright, so you do your lines so they curve. See that? So you can do a whole bunch of them and have them curving. And that helps give the shape of the lips, give some contour. And your upper lip is always darker than your lower lip, and there's a lot of highlights on your lower lip. And let's see, I'm going to give her some more. Now I'm going to fine tune the shape of the face a little bit. This does not look like Taylor, that's for sure. Mm. Okay, so you've got your, your lip dip right here. And have some shadow right in the middle. And under the nose, have some shadow. Removing some of my lines there. Let's get these lips on the right track. So just smudge in the direction of your lines. Makes it a little nicer. <clears throat> I'll do some hair coming up. I'm pushing the lines I just added upwards. There we go. 
And then we're going to do some lines here. I guess I could have cheated and, uh, oops, video went off, and uh, traced her picture. I guess I could still try that. Okay, so I'm batteries dying. Great. Let's make this one a little bigger. my card filled up and let's see okay so we have a reformatted card in there now what I have noticed is her lips are actually a bit smaller okay we're gonna have to take this down and I was watching a movie the other night and paying attention to the shape of their mouths and where the highlights were and they all had a white line around the upper lip. Hi guys, just a note to let you know I'm breaking this video into two parts because the download is so huge. Uh, the actual video is over an hour long, so this will be around 26 minutes total. Uh, if you like what you're seeing, please subscribe, follow me, and ring the bell, and that way you'll be notified when I have another video up. I'm on the road at present, so that's why it's so difficult to upload large files, and I'll be back to normal in another week. So see you soon and drop a note in the comments if you have anything to share. Love to see your work. Have a great day.